You're listening to the Lux Life Discovered Podcast, where we talk with people who are living a lifestyle that reflects their passion, because we believe everyone should be living their best life, their Lux Life. The show is hosted by Rick Steiner with Steiner Event Group, a premier national event planning company, and co-hosted by Shannon Richmond, the vice president of the Panama City Beach Chamber of Commerce. If you are watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future episodes. The show is produced by 30A Media and is broadcast on your favorite podcast outlets, as well as YouTube, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TVs, and other major brand smart TVs. Hello, I'm Rick Steiner with Lux Life Discovered. Welcome back to another episode. Our guest today is Brooke Winger, who has 30A Hat Bar. So welcome, Brooke. Thank you. So the whole concept for 30A Hat Hat Bar, tell tell everyone what what it is exactly. What do you do? Well, uh, bring people together and they come in and they pick out a hat, different styles, different colors, um, and then we just pick adornments to put on it. So you can pick uh, scarves, hat bands, feathers, brooches, charms, matchbooks, playing cards, all different kinds of things. Yeah, I'm so looking at your hat yep. today, the bright yellow, and then you, you do have the card with the burnt edge yep. and the matchbox and the feather. So how did, how did this begin for you? Well, I've always been creative. I've always had, um, my mom's an artist, so I've always been around creativity. Um, I started years ago doing jewelry, and then I was uh, thinking I've got lots of, I've been in the industry in the, in the area for um, customer service and um, restaurant business, so I'm always seeing people and women to mm-hmm. come together, and I was literally laying in bed, and I looked at my wall of hats, and I was like, I should bring people together and do something creative. And it just kind of melded all of my things in one, one happy journey. So, so do you have the hats that they, they start with Mm -hmm. or do you custom design hats as well? I don't do the steaming of the hats and shaping, but they all are um, are adjustable on the inside. There's a band on the inside that adjusts to different hat sizes. I have different brim sizes so that, you know, sometimes people have small heads, like the wider brim, is it going to look great on them? So you would do a shorter brown. Um, some people don't like the round top. They want more of a concave. You know, there's different styles. Um, there's cowboys. There's glitter. There's felt. There's straw. All different kinds. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. So now you have a, a mobile. I do. I have an RV that um, my husband and I bought and converted. We ripped everything out and then made it this little cute boutique. So I do um, the hats, and then I have a little, um, I have some art there. I have my jewelry, uh, other jewelry, purses, one of a kind. Everything that I try to do is all one of a kind so that you're not walking around with the same thing that everybody else has. Um, And being in Florida, everybody needs a hat. That's true, yeah. (laughs) So how long have you been doing this? Um, Well, the business launched in June. Um, I've been working at it. Uh, for a year beforehand, just to gather my resources okay. and the supplies. I wanted to source, um, start relationships. I was trying to do a brick and mortar, uh, and that just didn't seem to work out. So I was trying to think of the next way to bring it and ha- make it happen. And so that's where the mobile RV well, conversion came from. Yeah, and that way you can take it to them. Yes. So when you, okay, so your clientele, then mm-hmm. that is a, Probably diverse. As yes, I've had else, so. um, I've had three year olds come in, and I've had I didn't think about little yeah, kids, yeah, I've had it's been like a four generation. You know, the mom, the daughter, the mom, the grandma, and the great grandma have all come in, and then you know, there's sisters and besties, and you know, I've done birthday parties, I've done bachelorette parties. Um, okay. It's just a great way. I've, um, we did the rodeo, and that was really fun. Men came in with their you know with their spouse or their girlfriends, and they you know we put feathers in the guys' hats and. I did wow. some empty bullet casings, which are fun. The guys like to put those in their hats. and um, yeah. yeah. So you have hats for men, too. Yes. I just thought, was, I, see, I assume women. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, I, oh, wow. See, I'm learning something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, nice. So where did the creative part that you, because you have to be creative to come up with that. Yeah. So where did that how did you get that? Well, my mom age? is a local artist. Okay. Um, she's been, I mean, my whole life, We've she's been creative and done Wait, you're art. you're a local person? Yeah, no. 30 years. No, I've been here no. for 30 years. Yes, okay. in Walton County for 30 years. Wow, that's, I think, um, your first. Yeah, really? Yeah. 
We've had, uh, my mom, and we used to come down as a family. I have a twin brother, and the four of us would come down from Marietta, Georgia for spring okay. breaks and summers, and we uh, just fell in love with the area when it was nothing. I mean, it was yeah. just, there was hardly so anything there. So you've seen a lot of change. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, so my mom being an artist background, her name is Marty Schmidt, is, is with her having that creative energy always around us. She's had galleries. She's always done stuff in our homes when we've lived, you know, and she still does. Uh, she, and so it's just always been kind of in my blood. Um, so what was it like growing up as a creative mother? Magical. Yeah. My, That's a good my, way to describe it. Yeah. yeah. And my mom, my dad's, um, you know, he's into plants. And so we, we did a lot of, um, lots of learning in different ways, you know, yeah. taking, um, and now, you know, my brother doesn't live here anymore. He lives in Atlanta. He went back to the big city. But, um, <laughs> but, um, but my parents still live here and, uh, it was just, it's, you know, always, um, an experience for sure. Something to never boring, right? For sure. <laughs> well, and I'm sure your mother's so proud of you to be, take the creative part and, mm -hmm. and do something with it. Because, yeah. you know, for us, that's a who aren't creative. Mm -hmm. It's always fun to talk to people and learn from people like you who mm -hmm. are doing something that, you know, I could never do. Right. And it's fun to to see how other people take their creativity and their mm -hmm. talent and bring. Their vision to life. Yes, so. it's fun to see people come in and be like, I don't even know where to start, you know, and they come in the hat bar. And so what, you just what like. What is the initial response from people? Oh my God, it's so cute. Because it is, you know, yeah. you wouldn't think of it from the outside that you've completely gutted this whole, you know, mobile boutique and made it what you want it to be. Right. And I visualized it and spent time and my husband and I would like work on, he's very crafty, handsy. That's so. Nice. Yeah. It was very nice to have that aspect. To, we could work on it together. So it gave us, and I'm still learning how to, to drive the truck with the hat bar <laughs> attached to it. That is, that, that is definitely challenging. Um, so That he, may be the most challenging part of the whole for thing. For me, it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a 27-foot you know, RV, so it's like getting... Oh, wow, so yeah. it's not a small one. No, it's not. It's like That's where your husband is. We'll, we'll just say that's his job. Yes, He's a driver. Yes, yeah, he you're is. the creative person. <laughs> yes. He's a driver. No. But he does help me. Like he did help me come up with the vision. I'd be like, okay, this is what I want. This is how I want it to look. How can we achieve that? Yeah. And so through trial and error of, of getting it, um, like I said, it took us a while to get it to what we wanted it to be, and it's still, you know, we still tinker with it. You know, I'm like that's not working kind so of much. Your, your yep. things here and there. Yep. So what areas do you cover? Uh, I'll go, we've been to Panama City and then through Destin mostly. Okay. Um, I haven't had a lot of people outside of that uh, realm come. I went to Niceville for the rodeo and that was the schools that they did at the college and that was the first one they've done and that was fun. That was a fun little adventure. We did that for two nights. Um, but it's it's great to see people come in and, and not know, like they don't even know what they want. And then to come out and be like, they're just tickled pink by what yeah. they've created, you know. So and then you do bachelorette parties. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's always a hit. It's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. Birthday parties, you know, that all different ages, really. Um, mom and daughters come in and, you know, they can create things together. Matching, similar, not, you know, identical. Not but right. Right, but. Now, um, some little thread of commonality there, but not yeah, identical. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So do you tie the jewelry in with the hats? You can. Um, I definitely have beads and stuff that go on the hats, but I can. I've done, again, one-of-a-kind jewelry, and I do that for... Um, the only thing that is really matching is if I have a bride, want to do it for her bridesmaids. Right. Like their right. gifts or their jewelry that they're wearing for their occasion. Um, so that I'll... I'll match and do things. Have you done a hat for any of the bridesmaids? Have they, no. Have they gone that far no, yet? No, but yeah. I have made, I mean, I've made brides hats, but they haven't, like, just to show them what they can do. Yeah. I'm doing a couple of bride shows coming up, and I'm excited about that yeah. to see what, you know, how that comes. It's my first time doing them, so. Well, I, you're going to do well with them. Yeah, sure. thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so what, where do you see that this could go? Like, or would you, now that you're doing the, the mobile, mm -hmm. the RV, would you ever want to be brick and mortar? I don't, maybe, yeah. If, maybe, if the opportunity yeah. came up, you know, now that I've, I went down that avenue and tried to find a brick and mortar, 
and it was it was a it was a hard it made me almost say like maybe this isn't what I should be doing because it was such a challenge um but with that I grew and I we had to I kept having to reinvent the box you know essentially because sure. I was like I want this to happen I know that people would love to do it um you know it's something because people are always trying to find I mean we have the golf courses for the guys you know we have all the we have the beach that you know sometimes you're tired of the beach we have different um creative outlets here but why not have another you know to, and it's right. something you can keep and wear and you know well, revisit that RV memory too, it's fun that you can come to them mm -hmm. because a lot of times you know here even though we're like 20 miles sometimes from like right. rosemary beach panama city right. beach that area that 20 miles can be a long yeah, stretch sometimes, it especially is. you can't have 38 and now the bridge is out and you've got a detour. Yeah, right. I, um, you know, I always forget about it till I get mm -hmm. there. I say, ah, do this, yeah. you know, but and I don't uh, even know when that's opening again, but I don't think it ever will. Oh, no, no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know all that area is going to be glad when it does? Yes. And they're probably nice to the slower traffic, you know, yeah. less congestion, but at the same time, it's a lot of people that yeah. aren't coming through that area. That's so, true. Yeah. That's true. But, a lot of places won't allow me, like Rosemary, I can't bring the RV to them um, because it's such a small community. Um, so I have a way to, I just pack it all up and I just show up at the house with my tote. Okay, food. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. So yeah, so that, so if they wanted you and the RV can't come, right. you still have Yes, to, I have uh, a mini version okay. of, of the hat bar that all I right. can bring to you. And so... So with that, would you need to know in advance? More I can't. Information or... Yeah, I do. I, you know, ask the questions like, you know, is the date that you want available for me? Is the, um, or how many girl? I mean, how many women or men or how many people in your party? Uh, what's the, you know, what time frame do you want it? What kind of hats do you want? Because I don't want to bring obviously all of my inventory. Right, but you want to make but, sure you've got a good selection right. for them to choose from, yes. as well as all the different accessories yes. that go with it. Yes. So, yeah. So I have a. A mini travel version of all the accoutrements that you can adorn your hat with, and then of course the RV is going to give you the the bigger picture. Right. Yeah. So. Well, so um, what was the biggest challenge in, in starting this? Um. Momentum. <laughs> you know, just yeah. keeping with having the challenges come. You know, the the brick and mortar versus the mobile and. Um, just that and alone, just jumping through the hurdles to get it to go. Um, you know, I'm still getting the word out, so I'm still spreading the love of, of the hat, hat bar. Yeah. And so I wanted to do it at a pace that wasn't too much too soon. Right. So that I wouldn't um, burn out. I wouldn't, I would be, be able to accommodate the customer's um, experience and not you know, not shortchange anybody in the process. Yeah, because initially when you start some of that momentum, is mm -hmm. the, uh, just the initial kickoff, and then you're mm -hmm. like, not panic, but you're full speed, and yeah. then either do that right, or it kind of right. backfires a Right, bit. and so, so I didn't yeah. want to do it the wrong way. Sure. And so I think that because it's been a slow process, it's been a good process. Yeah, well that's and, good. Yeah. Do you paint? Not really. I mean, really, you didn't, I that's... no. Mom, mom does a lot of uh, mixed medias and print. She's a printmaker, okay. um, so she does a, lots of different mediums. Um, I don't. I mean, not really. I don't have an, that kind of niche. Okay, I was just uh, curious. Yeah. I could do a pay by number, but <laughs> <laughs> well, or, will you guys ever collaborate on a project? Well, we do. Um, she's got a few different prints and things that she's made with hats. And so those prints and things I have on my website so people can get them that okay. kind of, yeah. you know, coincide with my concept and, and hers. And um, we've done an opening together before. Um, oh, had the great. RV at her yeah. place at her house where her gallery is. And um, we've done a little collaboration there. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. I've had some other people reach out and do, to do some collaborations. And um, I've done some pop-ups and... So it's it's getting the word, you know, getting spreading the love everywhere. It's fun. So speaking of collaborations, mm -hmm. like who, like who would you collaborate with? Like what would be your, not necessarily a, mm -hmm. a particular business, but like who would be good to collaborate with you to, for the new ventures? So I had a gentleman reach out to me who 
uh, who has a mobile custom men's uh, suits. Mm -hmm. And he, really? yes, and he, he just wanted to talk about what, you know, if there was a chance to collaborate. And I'm like, yeah, I have men's hats. You have suits. There's a cigar. There's a, a, a mobile uh, bar. Yeah. Um, and so you can kind of appeal to a bride that can, you can do, hey, let's have your bridesmaid. Let's have your suits. Let's, you know, like all these right. different, you, your bridesmaid's gifts. Your, um, I had somebody reach out to me to do a whole wedding party, like be at, be, have the hat bar there where they have the wedding and let people be, this can be their favor. You know, like oh, go really? do a custom hat yeah. and, you know, remember the wedding. And I can brand, I can do branding on them. And so really it's endless because, you know, we're in Florida. The heat is, the you know, sun is hot and you want to protect your face. Well, and most of the time it is. Now, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, even the sun, you want to, you know, mostly protect sure, yourself. Yeah. And so, and it's a great accessory. It can go with anything. You can dress it up, dress it down. Yeah. I know the reason I said that because we have the cool weather which yeah. for me it's it's not cool it feels good yeah but it feels great for all you floridians it's yeah. like freezing <laughs> down here so yeah but um but even the sun it's been so bright the past two days mm -hmm. i can see where i had mm -hmm. comes in handy yeah so yeah but um well good so what age group would be ideal to do i know you said young children mm -hmm. so i didn't think about so you have cats for little kids. See, I never thought about that. So that'd be great right. for little children's birthday parties. And yeah, it's just something that they can, because a lot of them, you want them to start getting used to wearing a hat because yeah. you really do need them. And for littles to start, and it's they get to decorate it. So oh, it yeah. gives them more incentive to wear it. Um, it gives them something like fun for mommy and you to do together. Um, the ideal, you know, customer is probably, you know, the, 15 to 80, you know, yeah. I mean. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's funny too, the older ladies come in yeah. too, because they mainly grew up when hats were like the stock, the, yeah. you know, that time. Yes. So I'm sure it's fun to see them come in and yeah. kind of relive their yeah. their younger days. And For sure. My um, granddaughter and her family live in Louisville, mm -hmm. and my granddaughter is six now, but when she was four, got her first derby hat. Oh, yeah. And so... Last year, of course, we had to do bigger and better, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, and then derby and parties are everywhere now, everywhere. so this is a perfect opportunity yeah. for gearing up for derby. Derby May, time, so, yeah. yeah. And See, then Mardi Gras, I'm sure you do a lot of, and there's so much you can do with Mardi there's Gras. so many things yeah. you can do. There's really no, um, you just change, like, the weight of your hat for your seasons, um, okay. so Makes you sense. can... You can buy like one hat, but then you can just buy different accessories to change out that hat for whatever season you want it to be. Like okay. you want Marty, you want Valentine's Day, so you want to wear like pinks and reds maybe for your hat, and then Mardi Gras you want to do purples and greens, and um, and then you know you just change it the summer and then you know Christmas time you want to put your you know darker greens and reds and stuff. So it's it's pretty universal. Interesting. Fun. Yeah. So then, with hats too, storing hats, do you? I you I just put mine on a wall. Like I just because yeah, okay. you so know don't it, do the hat box necessarily. No, yeah. because I want to see them because they're little works of art. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, it's wearable art, so you get. And then to, you have storage if you have the, the hat box, and you got to worry about where. Right, you're where you gonna put yeah. that? And yeah. you can just I put them all around my um, walk-in closet. There are the exterior of my closet has all my hats on it, and so that's how yeah. I. When I was laying in bed one day, I looked up and I was like, oh, I love all these hats. I need to do something <laughs> with them and spread the, you know, spread the word and love and give them an experience. So do you ever do any hats pre-made that you sell? Or is I do have a couple that I have gotten because they do, um, they do the crocheting on them. And I haven't quite mastered that aspect of it. So Well, and so much your spare time, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. Um, so I do have a couple that are really nice, uh, nicer quality. You probably wouldn't want to add anything to those hats, but they're hand stitched. And so, yes, I do have those as well in the, in the hat bar. So do you ever see yourself making hats? Eventually, I would love to learn how they do that. Um, the shaping of them and right. yes. Um, I was told when I was doing my research to wait to do that aspect, to really 
hone in on this and mastering this craft of, of helping people and getting um, the name out there. And then, because that's, you have to have a steamer. You just, it just changes sure, yeah. what you need. And well, I don't yeah, have the, the space time, for it. Well, the space and the time. Right. I mean, that's, that's taking a whole different time frame away from what you're doing already. Right. Yeah. So. I mean, I definitely want, it is, I think that would be a neat challenge to give myself into yeah. learning that, even if I don't do it for my business. But, to, but just to go and have like a little yeah. apprenticeship with somebody who sees how they do it. and Sure. Um, That's like I'm an event planner, but I don't want to be a florist. I don't want to be, <laughs> a, you know, caterer. That's, mm -hmm. There's somebody skilled for that. Yes. And if I tried to do it all, it'd be a disaster. Yeah. I can't cook. I can't do flour. So that's even. You could. Yeah. If you choose. Yeah, but it's like, you're there, I know, I know who to call. That's <laughs> so, true. It's good to have because, resources. You know, it's back to um, that be, work smarter, not mm -hmm. harder. And, For sure. Uh, it takes me a long time to learn things. But, you know, I um, always want to try to do as much as I can and mm -hmm. be on top of things. But I um, know when I first ran across your information about mm -hmm. the hat bar, it, it really intrigued me because I thought, man, that's going to be good to because it's not something I could do mm -hmm. or would do, and it's fun. I like to see people live their passion, mm -hmm. and so that's really interesting how that evolved and yeah. came to where to where it is. It's just finding something that I could bring people together to create a memory. I'm all that's like my love language is quality time, so I feel like this gives something to somebody else that can they can have quality time with the people they're choosing to be with and create a memory and an occasion and make it. Something, even if it's not your birthday, just want to get together with your friends and. Have so them. then, can they come to your place if they don't have a place? How do yes, I do have a couple different. Um, I do have a couple different. I've been tracking out some different venues to okay. see if they're larger, how to get them there. Um, you know, so there's. I have different avenues of bringing people together. I, they can certainly come to me if there's a small group because I do have. Um, a table, I have a, the, the bar inside of the RV. And so people can sit there and we can create together while they're, you know, if it's a rainy day and you just want to make an appointment, I can certainly accommodate that for now. Um, right. well, good. Yeah. So, and you're based in? San Rosa Beach. San Rosa Beach. So right here? Okay. Right here. I don't yeah. know where, okay, I can't remember if you're Destin, but San yeah, Rosa Beach. San Rosa Beach. So, there are um, a number of venues that I'm going to refer you to. Okay, thank that you. That might be a good, good mix for this. Yeah. So, but it's fun to see the different mobile mm -hmm. operations that are going on in the area. Yeah. Because um, you've got the mobile bars, mm -hmm. which are really doing well. And then you've got your mobile hat bar. You've got a mobile barista that's coming yes. up on our podcast. And, uh, nice. So it's, it's fun to see creative ways that people are mm -hmm. taking their talent to, to the customers right. or to the clients. And it's neat to find, like, I didn't know that there was, um, you know, there's like a little... A picture of a photographer who has a little RV. There's like so this gentleman who reached out to me was like, "Hey, listen, I'm trying to get this mobile community together good, yeah. to do an event, and we need to kind of figure out where we can do the event and how we can bring all these mobile RVs together." Yeah. And like trailers. Get together yes, one spot yes, yeah. Yeah. That's really so, a neat yeah. So. How was that going? Is it still I just, I mean, it literally just happened last just, week. So I'm, you know, I've been. Um, been trying to he's out of uh, Mobile and so he has from Pensacola that he has from Mobile to Panama City is his territory okay and so and he's a mobile suit. suit custom suit maker Interesting. yeah he has like all the fabrics and the buttons and things yeah. and so I'm like well I've got the hats I've got men's hats and yeah. you've got you know and then a, a, a barista and a, a photographer and all different things to so oh, yeah. now Cigars, it's just yeah. yep yeah. So now it's just that's interesting and who would have thought about this during right COVID? you know right couldn't go out and do anything and i think that's when a lot of people became creative mm -hmm. and had time to stop and yeah do nothing but think. yes yeah. <laughs> think way too yeah. much in some cases yeah some thought about some things that yeah. like you should not have thought about that yeah, yeah so. i wanted something that i have a 14 year old and so i was hoping that i could my passion could then relate to her yeah. um, she's definitely helped me some do the you know different events and things and so um, just to teach her at a younger age 
the business sense of right. things, you know, and she is, she is artistic a little, so she, you know, just bringing all of that together and. Oh, between you and your mom, she's. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> she better be artistic and creative. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is she, she likes it? She does. Does she? Good. Yeah, good. she's made a couple of her own little hats and. Okay. And just, yeah, I think, I don't know if she's there for the. The business part of it, or just the atmosphere the yeah, of yeah. what's going on around it, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm sure she's learning more than you realize, too, yeah. because what a good example, too. Yeah. And to teach her that, hey, you know, you have a dream, dream. you have a passion, yeah. and it comes to life. And you got to yeah. work at it, you yeah. know? I do something every day for, for the business, yeah. so. Well, that's good. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people, of course, being self-employed, mm -hmm. People, people that aren't self-employed don't understand that. Right. Yeah, you know, they think, oh, you work when you want to. You know, you can mm -hmm. take off when you want to. We're sure we don't get paid, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I still paid. have a job. I still, okay. yeah, I still right. am in the restaurant business, but um, I work at um, George's in Alice Beach. But I, okay, I still, you know, yeah, I still That's... have to do that just to. This is, you know, when you start a business, you don't get to make money from it. No, that's true, yeah. And that's, yeah, people, yeah. All the misconceptions about yes. being your own boss sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like, money just going to come in 24-7. Yeah. You just wake up and there it is. Yeah, oh, I wish. It is. <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all? But no, but it's that passion, though, that, that mm -hmm. drives creative people and mm -hmm. people who are self-employed. You have to have that, that drive and inner push mm -hmm. because... A lot of cases, if you don't do it, it's not going to get done. It's not going to so get done. So that's, you know, yeah. and that makes it, you know, I always joke with my wife that I'm, yeah, you know, I have a client or an event and, you know, just, just some of the things that go on and I'm like, when I grow up, I want to be a greeter or Walmart. Right. Nobody's <laughs> going to call me and say, you didn't get my basket. Yeah. You didn't smile at me when I came in. Yeah. But, um, so I hope I don't have to resort to that. Yeah. But, you know, you know, that's always in the back burner. Right. Until they took out the greeters. And then now it's like, I'll have to just volunteer, I guess. <laughs> so, you know. Well, we're going to tell you, look at the camera and then tell people where to contact you and more about your information. I am on Instagram at 38 Hat Bar. You can get to my website, which is 38hatbar.com, or you can call me on my cell phone, 850-259-2025. All right, well, thank you so much thank for being Thank you so with much us. for having me, Rick. And this has been great because I always like interesting, unique adventures. And yes. so um, thank you. This, is, this is definitely one of well, those. Well, thank so, you. Yeah. I appreciate it. And Thanks for helping me spread my word. Oh, no, you're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. So be sure to contact Brooke about your next event and see what she can do for you. And then thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Lux Life Discovered. Thank you. Check out Lux Life Discovered on Facebook and Instagram and on 30a.tv. See you next time on Lux Life Discovered.